Soldier of Fortune magazine calls itself the Journal of Professional Adventurers, and most of its articles tell about them and others who are mercenaries. Published for over a year, Soldier of Fortune's publisher, Bob Brown, claims a circulation of over 10,000, and the typical reader is 29 to 39 years old. Brown, who is an ex-Green Beret colonel, says 56% of them are either in the military or are combat veterans. Some of the magazine's articles are very graphic, like this one, which does not leave out a thing while giving instructions on how to kill a sentry. I would suggest for certainly a large number of our readers who will not be involved in sentry removal, so to speak, at any point in time in their life, it's, a, uh, it's a simply a matter of uh, escapist reading, if you will. Now, on the other hand, there may be well some of our readers, although a much smaller proportion than it might be. Presumably, the magazine's ads also try to reach the pro. There are dozens and dozens of how-to-do-it books offered for sale from CIA and Army handbooks to modern knife fighting techniques and how to make a silencer. And the array of mercenary style weapons for sale legally, such as blow guns, machine guns, and commando knives is very extensive. Uh, the ANDs really, the items that appear there are advertised elsewhere. I think it causes such interest in people to pick up the magazine for the first time because they see all these ads in one place, so to speak. That in conjunction with the general nature of the magazine. Soldier of Fortune is also getting a lot of mileage from the fighting in Africa and even offers interviews with military officials there who tell how to join their armies. And the classified section has such interesting items as this one. Group of mercenaries for sale to foreign government will accept suicide missions. Ike Siemens, Channel 4 News.